It's Thursday morning, March the 30th, 2023, and it's a joy to be able to share some thoughts with you from scriptures today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and this morning we're going to read Psalm 10, verse 14, and God answers a little bit to the accusations that are brought against him in verse 13. Verse 14 says, Thou hast seen it. For thou beholdest mischief and spite to require to requite it with thy hand. The poor committed himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. And in verse 13, they accused God of not being just and not being righteous after all and letting people get by with things. But God says he's going to bring people into account. He is the God and the Bible says Thou hast seen it, for thou beholdest mischief and spite to require it with to requite with thy hand the poor committed himself unto thee, thou art the helper of the fatherless. God is a compassionate God, and he is he is one who helps those who have a need, and he will requite, he will bring into account those who sin against him. Yes, he will, he will hold every man accountable for his deeds and for the way he has responded to the truth of God's word. It's such a blessing that God has given us his word so that we can know what he expects from us. You know, it would be a sad state for us to be in if he was a God who didn't really communicate with men or tell us what his expectations are of us and what his requirements are in order for us to be accepted to be recipients of his mercies, his love, and his salvation. Whereas he has communicated those things to us. He's told us exactly what needs to happen if we're going to be saved, if we're going to have our sins forgiven. And the Bible here is God giving this answer that, that he's not a God of spitefulness, but he's willing to requite and, and forgive sins and the, and the poor just needs to commit himself to God because he's the helper of the fatherless. He's a merciful God, and everybody needs to commit themselves to the Lord. But it's a blessing that God is compassionate towards those who are poor and towards those who are fatherless. He's a, he's a, a God who feels the infirmities of the weak, and he desires to minister to them and help them especially if they're people who have a tender heart and a right attitude towards him. That's the kind that God's compassion and God's love reach out to most readily. Be that kind of person. Be one who is compassionate. Be one who is, who is willing and humble and ready to receive God's mercies. He is perfectly willing to extend himself to you. If he sees a tender heart, one that's humble, one that's willing to submit to him in the areas that are most important, God help you today.